how's it going everyone? It's finally happened. Dual Rinnegan Madara and Edo Hashirama have gotten their limit breaks. Being out for almost a year and a half now, it's been definitely a while coming. And man, these units being already pretty overpowered, getting limit breaks means they're going to be propelled into even more territory of being just amazingly overpowered. And I wanted to take a look at my boy Madara, especially first because this is the man that I summoned for back when they first dropped for New Year's. It was one of the first blazing videos up on my channel and it was a really fun summon video because I loved summoning on him. I pulled three of him on the banner when I first summoned. I did a full rotation for him and man ever since then i've just been fortunate enough to pull more of him or at the same time i've been able to get him maxed out through acquisition stones so there is that but yeah man now that they have limit breaks oh it's so hype so madara is definitely my favorite out of the two like i said and he's definitely one of my favorite units in the game because when it comes to sage of six pass units he's just one of the best the heals alone man like this is what makes madara so good the heals and the dodges like this man is still really good for pvp even today like if you guys saw my qualifying league videos this man is still good for pvp and that's unheard of for a lot of old units that are either this slow or don't have a lot of the same sync skills and other abilities that most units do have for pvp and also this dude is a blazing fest so being good for pvp still nowadays that is pretty insane so with that said i'm gonna jump on into limit breaking my boy sage of six pass dual renegade madara i've already done one time i'm gonna go ahead and get him to max and then we'll take a look at this man and see how he fares especially because i do have another madara but he's not going to be getting the max limit breaking so i'll see how the two compare and oh yeah man let's go ahead and get this dude all the way to 150 and there we go dual renegade madara is maxed out and man his health got a pretty big boost i would say it went up by like what six hundred that's pretty good because like like i said this madara he's all about the heals and also just having a lot of chakra and at the same time dodging so he was never about damage so this man having even more health oh that's so good honestly this man almost being at 3k now hashirama i will say he's the healer he's the health one but because of madara being able to get so much heals back it kind of falls in line with him being the sage of six pass with the modder having the renegon all that stuff so with that said i think this is a really good boost with the limit break and also the strength that he got wasn't too bad he's at 3k strength that's really really good so with that said i'm looking forward to having this man on the team even more because he's always a staple on my skill team he's really the only good skill healer i mean you can argue the other units but this man gives you 750 just like naruto does for final valley so yeah this man is really good plus just the chakra he has at all times plus the dodging this man is amazing so yeah I'm, I'm glad to jump on into this he is max pilled of course and yeah that that's pretty good that he's at 3k strength I, I wasn't expecting it to be that high but let's go ahead and jump into looking at this man now so what a better way than to go ahead and jump into the new mission for the emergency mission to get that skill elementals only i've done everything but a rank so let's go ahead and jump into this skill only it is gonna be heart type i can't switch the typing as well though so that'll be very good and we'll go ahead and see i think what i'm gonna do though is go ahead and put him in the middle row then if that's the case so yeah i have my other moderator which is not fully duped and he's also not not max limit broken whatsoever and then i am taking a friend unit which it doesn't look like everybody quite yet has the max limit broken and then i have mine in the middle which is also fully duped like the friend unit but he is max duped so we have a wide array of moderas and my other moder doesn't even have pills at all so it's literally the base to the maxed out so this is a really good way to gauge how much stronger he got so let's go ahead and jump into the emergency mission okay so we got kabuto right there sage kabuto i don't remember seeing that man not on the other ranks but okay actually yeah dude he does a lot of continuous so this is for the rock type shinobi so there is that um we really don't need to use him right now i never use madara's first jutsu it is really good though because if i'm not mistaken it does remove barrier right yes it does so he's just such a good unit man i don't need to tell you guys that you know that but if you have like a bunch of these moderas like once everybody starts getting theirs max limit broken you're gonna be like at 14k health easily because that man has a lot of health but if you want to talk about health that's like i said where hashirama comes into the equation and for even this emergency mission these units are perfect because not only do they dodge they get the chakra back so easily man i should have left my moderator out onto the field like look at that they all dodged except for him and <laughs> it's just amazing now the only thing i don't like is that this moderator is kind of outdated when it comes to abilities like or sync skills rather like he doesn't have health recovery protection and he also doesn't have a mobilization protection to my knowledge 
So unless you, he does have Jutsu ceiling, but he doesn't have a mobilization, which is not good. So he, he's just kind of outdated in that aspect. Like most, if not all Blazing Festival and even Blazing Bash units have that nowadays. So it is kind of something. But all right, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do, we do need to get Omoe's ult, so we need to just stall up a little bit, cause I'm gonna use that for the next map. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this chakra. And then we can go ahead and try to finish this map off with the base moderate so we can see how much that's going to do against a max limit broken moderate. And yeah, we'll see that because I'm um, actually we can use this man because he's pretty much the same. So uh, obviously we don't have the type advantage here, but that's completely fine. So these moderates are just, oh man, it's just, it's crazy now, man. I can't believe they got their limit breaks. Like <laughs> I wasn't expecting it for a while. Obviously it's been a year and a half, like I said. But still, for them to have these now, they're just, they're, they're amazing. They really are. Okay, so that's this modder. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move up here. We're going to go ahead and use Omoe. And also, Kabuto's a pretty good healer too. But the modder, man, if you guys don't have him, getting your hands on him is important. And obviously, deciding on what Golden Week might be now, you might want to summon for him. I'll talk about that in another video. But for right now, man, this modder is actually looking like one of the best units. So, all right, there we go. 42k. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and drop the bomb on him. I wish I could have hit multiple of them though. So, I'm all right, we're gonna go ahead and do this now. Then, I already know this modder is gonna do a lot of damage. That's not really what he's for though. Like I said, it's just the AoE that he's so perfect for and bypassing everything, but it just makes it too easy, man. How much did he do? 50 something K. I think it said 50 something K. I couldn't see it, but 50 something. I think it was 58 actually. That's that's pretty good damage, man. His strength did get quite a big boost. That's good because honestly, like Madara, he, he never felt like he did a lot. That's why you have people like EMS, Sasuke, and Shisui. But now that he also does like pretty around normal damage, I think that he's going to be even better because honestly, when it comes to nuking, I never use that Madara. I just use him for heals. But now that he can kind of be used for both, I feel like he's finally at that stage where he should have always been at. So I'm really glad that this man got a limit break. And again, if you guys don't have him, you might want to consider picking him up because he's one of the best units in the game. He helps you on everything. Ninja Road, Emergency Missions, Super Impacts. This man is just an all around amazing unit. I think he's personally better than Hashirama when it comes to that kind of utility. But Hashirama does pack the damage more. And he's also just a lot tankier, I feel like than this modder especially with the amount of health he has now but this man should not be slept on either a lot of you that have been playing the game know this already but yeah this man is amazing so there we go that takes care of looking at max limit broken modder for right now um i'm really happy that i went ahead and got him i'm probably not going to do hashidama right away i already have enough to do both of them because i save up my limit break crystals but yeah i'm, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get hashidama next but i, I think i want to talk about the golden week banner that we might have first so with that said there we go, Max Limit Broken Madara. Oh, I'm so happy I got this man maxed out. So yeah, let's go take care of it. Hope y'all enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.